What's up, y'all? Missed you. Hope you missed me. Dave Money, American Lairs. I don't have a real big topic tonight. I just want to kick it with y'all. And I'm going to set this timer because um, I only have 15 minutes of record time. So bear with me. And it's set. All right, so yeah, no big topic, but I missed you. And I see my subscribers are slowly growing. If you want to see me on Instagram, Dave underscore money three. Um, let's get into it. I am going to pop two packages for you. One was a big mishap. Y'all know how it is grabbing stuff on eBay. You can't try these things on. You can't touch it. You don't feel it. You're not next to it. So you, you're taking a gamble or risk. I'm a, um, I'm a risk taker. But this one broke my heart. See, I don't, I don't think I have any RL cargo pants right now. So, you know, I jumped at the opportunity. When I saw these for the low, um, I said, I gotta have it. You know, I think, um, I think I grabbed these for like less than $10. Anyway, well, let me build the story a little bit. In my mind, I was imagining wearing these slim cargos with like, fancy turtlenecks and uh and, and suede loafers you know i was gonna like dress them up it was gonna be epic i was gonna look just like one of those damn rl ads but when the package arrived i was surprised because like i'm i'm wearing a 30 30 these days you know i'm, I'm not a big guy and i've been dieting too and exercising so i'm back to like a 30 30 and, um, you know, these, these arrived and I'm excited, you know, cargoes, um, they had this leather strap. I don't know if you can see, they got this leather, leather strap right here. So I was like, oh, that's the business. All right. Leather strap. So, you know me now we talking now, you know, sometimes you get a feeling like you, you get, you get tipped off, right? They look kind of short. They look kind of stubby, like, you know what I mean? Kind of, kind of stubby in the photo. But I was, so I'm like, well, maybe, um, I'm like, maybe, maybe they are slim, but, you know, high waters, maybe. Maybe somebody altered them. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but I'm being optimistic. And we got to be careful with that sometimes. The optimism will lead you to destruction. And this time it led me to destruction. So anyway, I'm excited. I'm a bit skeptical, you know, looking at one of the photos, but I'm like, nah, this is a, it's, it's, it's a solid pair of cargos. Let me just go ahead. But you can see, I mean, let's cut the story short. These, um, this is the ankle. It's pretty wide. The whole damn pant is wide, yo. I didn't even know RL did this kind of thing. Like these, these are, matter of fact, these are 3130. So I'm 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 rocking the 3030, but I figured I could get away with the 3130. But what, when I put these on, I was drowning in them, and it wasn't it wasn't just um the width, it was the length too. You know they uh they had you know little ruffles break the break near the ankle was real fluffy. So you know I was I was disappointed because you know. You know how it is when you get your hopes up and you think you're about to get something good. Like this was going to be the beginning of a, an epic cargo collection. I was going to grab like, you know, three pairs so I so I so I could switch it up and and do my cargo thing with different pairs. You know what I mean? I, I you 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 get it. But, but I failed. You know what I'm saying? Um, they were wide as hell and long. Anyway, I'm giving them away. If if anybody wants them, um, it, I mean it's not like they crazy big. They just crazy big for a thirty one thirty. So I guess Ralph was doing that Jinko skater thing with these. They are a uh, Polo Polo Jeans Company. Um, they're they're in good shape. I don't I don't really see any f flaws. Nothing you know nothing worth mentioning. Um, you know I, I can't use them, and I'm I'm not going to be bothered to sell them. When I um 
I let the seller, the eBay seller, know that they were they were way bigger than any 3130 I'd ever seen in my life. Um, they said, you know, I said I'll, I'll send them back, and they, they, you know, they said just keep them. I'll refund you, so you know they're mine to do whatever I want with them, and I'll, I'll give them away if you're interested. I imagine these are probably really like um, 34. And these, the, the, they're probably really like, I'll measure them, but I, I'm guessing maybe like 33, these are probably like 33, 31, 32 length. All right. So I'll, I'll measure them. And, um, and if anybody wants them, just, just hit me up. I'll send them to you. Um, it's, it's better to probably hit me on Instagram, Dave underscore money three. So that was my little horror story, right? But hopefully we got a success on our hands. Let me check the time. You got like nine minutes. Okay. Maybe, maybe. You know what I'm saying. Maybe we make up for this. I also been grabbing sweaters. And um, I was dead set on getting my rugby collection crazy. I've shown you my, my little bit of rugby's in the past. I'm still working on that. And I have a new love you know like this new vigor for rugby's because i'm thinking like you know i'm always struggling i'm always talking about i don't have like anything to rock daily like with this rl thing or with anything if you're calling yourself well dressed or some sort of collector you want to be able to dress well every day comfortably consistently and i'm and and sometimes you start you start grabbing certain items then you realize i don't really want to dress like this every day or I don't have the, the pieces for it, whatever, whatever. But anyway, so I was, I was playing around with some rugby's, you know, like a year ago. And, and, and then lately, like within the last few months, I started thinking like, hey, you know what? The, the damn rugby, tried and true. You can rock these every day. And, 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 and for me, it, it gives me that complexity I need, you know, the knit, the knit body, right? Along with the, uh, the Oxford-like collar. It's a great combination. It's probably got stripes. You probably layer it up. It's perfect. The rugby. If you have a bunch of them, you can rock rugby's every day and you will have a good look. So that's the tip I'm on lately. So I'm on this rugby mission and I'm also on this sweater mission. Like for self plus for IG, the sweaters make dope photos. When you got a, a, a you know, like say a Nordic sweater, when you, when you shoot a photo in the right light, it's magical. You know, it takes on another dimension is created you know what i'm saying so for life and for ig i'm like damn just let me get crazy on the nordic crazy with the fair isle so that's the mission i've been on and i i had this goal you know sometimes i sometimes i log on and i say i'm gonna grab 10 items today and that usually never happens because you know once i have the time and the money and the passion to cop up like that I usually don't see enough stuff to fill my quota. So, you know, a few times I'm, I'm, I'm copping 10 things tonight. Did not happen. I tried over and over. So this is me telling you about the rugby's and the Nordics, right? I was like, I'm, I'm grabbing 10 items, rugby's, Nordic. And I'm looking at these rugby's and I'm going to tell you the problem with rugby's. But anyway, well, now let me tell you the problem with rugby's right now. The problem is this. Sometimes... They are too busy. You got to be careful with rugby's because they provide that kind of busy, that kind of intricate, that, that dope RL feel. But if you dress like me, sometimes it's too much. One element could turn that rugby from a winner to a loser for me and maybe for you too. For instance, something can have like the right colors. Um, you, 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 you like you, you like the, the stripe pattern if they're stripes or you like the color blocks and maybe they put a patch on there. Maybe they put a big number seven on the back. This is me. So I'm searching, you know, I'm 10 items, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting stuff on watch and, 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 I'm, and I'm looking at the photos, you know, looking at the potential you know, Jones, I'm a cop. And, and, and it's like you look at the first two photos, you get to the third photo and it's the back of the shirt. And it's like a big number six. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with a number six? 
Let me tell you why that's a problem. And we're going to pop this too. All this leads to that. But let me tell you why that's a problem. For me, it doesn't feel authentic. It doesn't feel timeless. Right now, I understand rugby's are sport inspired. Right. You know, rugby is an old game. A lot of history is like I think it's like a couple hundred years old. And I think they played it at like um, I think the oldest university or one of the oldest universities in 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 London. Something like that. I'm not a historian, but, you know, it's a real, you know, it's 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 a damn ancient sport. It's not ancient, but it's old. But anyway, it is a sport. So the rugby's we wear today are meant to um, like pay homage to or 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 or, or um, borrow style cues, borrow looks from uh, the old rugby's, right? You got the rugby's without the collar, and then you have the rugby's with the collar. I think those came later. But anyway, the rugby's we wear are pretty much sport jerseys, so it makes sense to have a number on them. However. That changes once a brand creates a rugby. To me, anyway. You know, if you were an actual sport team or if you had an actual old rugby, you know, from, I guess you get it from a damn archive or a museum or, or whatever, wherever you, wherever you would obtain said ancient rugby. If you had that and it had numbers and patches, it would make sense. But if a modern brand decides to construct a rugby design a rugby i don't feel like it should have numbers on it because it was never actually part of a team and i know i'm being strict but that's just my fun that's just my little craziness if you good with the numbers cool anyway what i'm saying is that's what stops me from buying a lot of the rugby's that i would buy it's the darn numbers it's the patches and i understand like when you're dealing with like sports varsity sport collegiate sport all of that they put patches and things to to co commemorate accomplishments. I understand that. But again, it doesn't feel right to me on a branded item. So, that brings us here. Okay. Instead of forcing it, because I had these rugby's in my, in my shopping bag, my shopping cart, whatever, on my watch list. And I'm like, instead of forcing it, why don't I buy something I really like? Now. Remember I told you sometimes we buy a bunch of stuff and then we decide we don't want to dress like that every day. So I had a bunch of um, uh, club ties. I um, can't remember the, the right name. You know, you know, the, the club. Uh, these joints, these joints, I forget. I can't remember the real name, but I had these. You know, with the, 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 the shirt, with the, um, with the dress collar and all of that. And I was like, because I work in an office. And I was like, you know, I'm going to rock it like that. And I decided, nah, nah I don't want to rock it like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to wear that. You know, I, I want to just throw on a sweater or, you know, whatever, whatever. I felt like that wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right to rock that because I don't, I don't wear a jacket every day. You know, like a sport coat, a blazer. I don't wear that every day. So I'm like... If I had a solid cardigan, it makes sense. Heraldic, heraldic tie. I'd wear the heraldic tie, you know, and the dress shirt. If I had a solid cardigan, that's 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 you know that's real uh, trad right there. That's that's classic trad. That's, so anyway, I switched from rugby to cardigan. Right. So now I'm looking at cardigans and now I'm thinking Ivy style and I ran into this. Right. That's a long way to tell a story. Right. I went all around the world. Oh, sh and there's one minute left. <laughs> Let me pop this open. Long story short, I grabbed the rugby. It arrived today. And here it is. And it looks like it's small. I gotta try it on, but maybe it's a winner, 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 chicken dinner. I don't even mind the patch, and y'all know how I feel about these damn patches. This is nice. I'll try it on. I'll do another video. Dave Money American Lairs. Dave underscore money three and subscribe on my YouTube. I'm out.
Hey, thanks for watching, but I made one mistake. I just watched the video. I called this a rugby. It's not a rugby. It's a damn cardigan. That was the whole point of the story, but thanks for watching. That's my alarm. We made it in the nick of time. I'm out.